Hey, what's up you guys? You're about to watch part two of this even flow lesson. And in the last lesson I talked about um, guitar number one being in drop D. Now actually, thanks to one of the comments and some more investigation, I realized that he's actually in open D tuning, which sounds like this. Open D, then A is normal, then D is normal, but then you drop your G a half step down to F sharp. Then you drop your B string down a whole step to A. You'll hear it match up to your A string. Then you drop your high E down to D. That's called open D tuning. Now, the lesson you're about to see, I'm just in regular drop D, and it's totally going to work. The benefit of being in this open D tuning is when you bar all six strings, you get a major chord. And so that... Keith Richards kind of thing, but what you get is, in the way I taught it, I just have you play these top three strings, but what you could do in this tuning is play the top four strings, or even all six strings. Just a little note for the die-hard Pearl Jams out there, Pearl Jammers, Jam Heads, whatever, um, you know, just a little extra thing that you can try. That's it. Enjoy the lesson. We'll see you at GuitarJams.com. And I'm not sure, guitar two, since we haven't even played this top string, uh, it might be in standard tuning. You can leave it in standard tuning, but we need drop D for guitar number one. All right, here we go. Guitar number one, chorus. So we're gonna go, we're gonna cover. It's a power chord, so we've got the 12th fret of these top three strings here. And you just match the words even. Then we're going to go down to where we're barring the 8th fret, but we're going to start with our ring finger on the 10th fret of the D string. And it's the vocal part, so we got... Second time, it's just 12 to 10. So, It's, uh, you know, for guitar number one, it's just 12 to 10. It goes right back into a verse after the first chorus, but then later on you've got... And you could do it a power chord, you could do single notes, it's just 10 to 12. Okay, guitar number two chorus. So we got, basically it's like a D bar chord. So you do this chord here, which is the seventh fret of the, the D, G, and B. You can get a root in here if you want. But you don't really need it with the other guitar going. So you could go or do that. 
Then we're gonna do just a single note of five to three on the G. So we got. And then. So the second time, it's just the fifth fret on the G. So we got. Then the second time starts the same way. So there's a little lick right there. And it's on the B string, because we just went to this note. Then we go to the B string, and I'm putting my ring finger on the fifth fret of the B string. And it's kind of like a half step bend back down, resolving to the third fret on the B, which is a D note, a root. So, guitar number two, chorus. And then, um, then the hymn away with guitar number two is uh, seven, seven, and it's the B to G. to five on the G. He's doing a little whammy on his fender. So the solo is power zone, D minor, blue scale, pentatonic, wah wah pedal, licky licky. Very Hendrixy. So that's the lesson for now. Uh, feel free to sign my request list down there, and that's how I take all my requests and answer questions. So if you have any questions, you can sign up there and, and let me know. Hopefully I helped you rock out a little bit. We'll see you real soon.